Yeah, recent history has not been so kind of full of, uh, notably busted out O2 and MT14 and then 1-2 and 15, I believe. Yeah, and that's coming off the second place finish. Yeah, I mean, look at those three stars. You, you can't argue with those. Yeah, that that's very impressive. Uh, looks like we have decided on win rate of game. zero percent. Let's go. <laughs> nice, Matt. We're buddies there, pretty much. Now, Matt, Matt, Matt also plays LADS. So. I mean, hey, so, that, after this entry, I'm right there with beating you, you now. Uh, I have one win in MD history. Nice. <laughs> was it a retroactive win? Like, uh... Nope. Like spin piece it was fairly odd parents enter the club so it was a great game yeah matt one is a commentator oh. and two plays ladx so i i have to root for matt though yeah, fulla well, does follow I, me I've on know, twitter i've known matt forever you know fulla like, does follow me on twitter so five years <laughs> which I mean, lizard in ladx for that long <laughs> which lizard in particular is this Lizard. I feel like I should know who this lizard is on full of lizards. No, he's just full of lizards. That's just that's just his meal. Hmm. Yeah. So we have a. Uh... Matt did win winners one. So <laughs> the most brutal decent. game you could have possibly pulled in winners <laughs> one. Revengeless <laughs> Smurfs GBA. Who Yep. Revenge. <laughs> yeah, that was Okay, when oh, do the Smurfs need to seek revenge unless they were just, you know, sick of Gargamel's shit so they got a gun. Yeah, notably played pull two. Um continuing our tradition of previous top eight games being played in Oh, forgetting one. to flag previous top eight games for not for early rounds yeah <laughs> no see you f you should flag them for only early rounds you, you got you gotta get you gotta introduce the new blood early yeah that's why Goose you gets to blood kill me for route four <laughs> <laughs> a <laughs> game that cute. should never have been winners one and why we changed the rule, whoever was ahead when time is called, they win. Yeah, Fola, uh, Lost in Loop Loop DX. That game was kind of dumb, but it looked... 140 is also fun. a pretty good racer. Glad yeah, 140 came over seasons. Uh, and then... As a fellow seasons player, 140 is really good. Yeah. And then one against Bale Kirby and Sega Racing RTA, which was... That was a... Fola did incredible in that race. That was uh, very, very fast. Yeah, I've also seen uh, B.O. Kirby, like, joining other races here and there. And that they get they get pretty good times. That they're, they're kind of a sleeper, I feel. Like a, like a sleeper competitor. Like, very able to pull out very good times. Uh, yeah. I wish I'd been able to join. Like, I've joined, like one MT race this year. Just one. And it was Remedy. I mean, yeah, I, I also joined. As we you, have to, race. you have to join the games that you can farm. Like, come yeah. on. I, I yeah, and I didn't even farm that well because I was like talking about the game weird. the entire time and being bad because I need to, I want to regrind that game down and maybe like learn Master like extremely mm. well. Because master, the master run is just as long as hard, even though it's 33% faster, because it it hurts. But yeah, I also joined. Uh, I also joined Remedy and joined Where's Waldo. Yeah, I'm not. I'm never doing that. Wait, which Where's Waldo was it? Uh, the DS game. Okay, fuck you, Hopscotch. <laughs> <laughs> I there was oh god, I think that was in MT before too, and I remember Cruel was just really fucking mad about it. <laughs> like I know there was a Where's Waldo game that Cruel was just unbelievably upset about. That there were definitely a few times where I'm just panning the screen over and going, "Where the hell is?" There's like five of these guys here. See, this is this is when you like pull out like the secret tech of going to your monitor and then like eliminating every color but red. 
or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I don't know if that's cheating because you can't see anything else. <laughs> just keep red, white, black, and then as long as That'll everybody isn't wearing part. Waldo costumes yeah. like they want to do sometimes, you'll find them. That's going to be like a separate category on speedrun.com. Them no monitor color percent. <laughs> well, no, no, but it's just like you walk up, right? Like, you ever have a, an old like CRT and it had all the color presets, and you could just literally shut like certain like spectrums of light off on those TVs. Yeah, my CRT doesn't <laughs> like, have that badly. Mine doesn't yeah, have like I had, any I had, setting. Like, There's a no setting on mine. For years, I had like a 1980s like uh, Sears television with wood paneling on it. It weighed oh, like 150 ooh. pounds. It had like a, I want to say a 15 inch screen, <laughs> maybe a 17 inch screen. Uh, mine is sitting like, right next to me great. on the desk. It's Orion. Um, it has a built in VCR and DVD player. Let's see how big yeah, it is. Now I have a 35 inch Treadatron where it weighs 250 pounds. 200 of which are entirely localized in the speaker system. <laughs> yeah, mine is about 15 inch. It's also really, really, really freaking heavy, but I don't ever move it. Yeah, I can't, I can't move that 35 inch television. It's hooked I up, um, my PS2 is hooked up into it. So it's my Wii, and um, if my younger brother wasn't using it, my N64. Yeah, I have my N64 and my GameCube hooked up to that thing. I'll eventually get my NES there once I buy a cart for that. The CRTs in this house uh, survived past 2004, I want to say. Oh, no, I bought this CRT maybe four years ago for 80 bucks. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I have, like, a massive plasma TV in the other room over there. It's, like, gigantic. It's so heavy. We had to call and hire other people to move it for us. And it's, uh, oh, it's My father so had for years. Um, the, the the statement was, because he, he got this in, like, 2005 when it was brand new. Um, the statement was it fell off a truck because it almost certainly did. Uh, a rear, like a 60 inch rear projection uh, mm -hmm. Sony TV. Yeah, that's what we have. <laughs> <A> big boy. <laughs> it's so. And he, when he got that thing removed, he called people to cut it in half because to put it in the basement, they basically had to disassemble like the entire railing system. God, damn. Had, it, had, it, had, it had component it, input. They had three the people. Oh, it had component. Play. It had the ability to do four TV channels at the same time <laughs> and do picture in picture. That's crazy. Ours had picture in picture, but not that. Yeah. I remember using the component input, plugging no, one so game console like was, into was, one. Like into how my how my dad would watch would watch football. He was get one game there, one game there, one game there, one game there, and sometimes he'd picture in picture another game. <laughs> Yeah, I, I used to plug like two different game consoles into the two different color ports and see if my younger brother and I could play at the same time. <laughs> did it work? Yeah, it did. I remember doing a trick. And oh no! If, if you had, that. if you had the old timey 3D glasses where one of them was all blue, one of them was all red. Hey, we you have could a game. Definitely do it. We do have a game. It is Sisyphus for uh, the personal computer. I when I saw the name of this game, I was really hoping it would be one of those like NES style games. Like, um, oh god, why am I? This this looks too new. I don't like it. Yeah, and, I, uh, I saw. If anybody's not aware of the, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm digging how this is going so far. His mad stream is dying. Oh. So Sisyphus, you know, he had to roll the. Oh well, I like these mechanics immediately. These this game is amazing. You just yeah, stop time so and then. Awesome. Yep. This is like a. This is a really weird grapple game. Is basically what this is. You you just make any point in the level your yeah, grapple. Yeah, you you, <laughs> you decide where you've already grappled to. I like it. As Fuller takes a death. Got frozen by oh, yeah, fire. Yeah, Sisyphus has. Uh, he he did he did some dumb stuff. So now he has to roll a boulder up a hill. And every time he does it, they just kick the boulder down the hill again. That's basically what happened to Sisyphus. Uh, there are worse punishments, I'd say. Almost certainly, especially if, you know, you're talking about Greek mythology. Yeah. Yeah, this game this game is, is awesome. The testers uh, loved this a whole lot. Um, yeah, this was considered for top eight. This was like 
every single thing in the testing sheet that's like this could be good for top eight but uh we, we decided to put it in a normal pool i mean top eight's not the only place that gets cool games i mean they gotta be hard enough and i'm not sure if this would be especially considering the type of player who gets into top eight uh how strong they are at graphical games most of the time well this is uh, also not full game yeah, this is this is. Oh yeah, five. yeah, like uh, like how Monster Girl has been in full game when we have top eight caliber players. Destroy all Monster Girls is a good game. I'd recommend it. It's an empty classic at this point. This is one of those like awkward. Bill is having a really games. hard time with this one staircase. As Matt gets up first try, so Matt's yeah. taking the lead. Like I'm not even really sure what the issue is for Fuller here. He's just not swinging good. I was saying you have to launch twice, so why are they not able to do that? That's a good question why they aren't. Okay, no, they, they just did it there. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, they're like yeah, overcorrecting or something. What the fuck is? Are those enemies? Uh, oh, those great. are birds. Fucking of birds! Living fire that freeze you when they touch you. Apparently, How do we know this is living fire, and it's not just you know, cold flames and Hades. I I mean, it's we flying around. It's shooting stuff at you. Racks to stimuli. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm Full is just not getting the momentum to get up there, and I don't know why. Uh, yeah, me either. I'd be real sad if this was a 144 hertz thing. Well, that would that would base would that be a redraw then? Yes, that's a technical issue. That's outside of the player's control. Yeah. I feel like we know by now to turn off 144 hertz before you play an empty game. Yeah, but sometimes people forget. Well, maybe you should just not have a 144 hertz monitor. Oh wait, I think I know what the issue might be. Is he's got to throw it into? The, he's got to throw the ball into the fire so we can launch it again, and he's. Uh, so it turns. He's got to launch it back and forth a couple times. I think okay. that's just a guess. Also, might just not be used to the controls. Just might there. I mean, they'd sure look awkward. I mean, I, I would say Phantom Matt seems to be having no trouble, but uh, their scream seems to have timed out a bit. <laughs> okay, Xena confirming you need to touch the wall with the ball. Yeah, that I'm just looking at it and I just noticed it went out and when yep. Fuller didn't do that. So yeah, that that's all he has to do is just ride the fire or ride the ball into the fire and let it let it go on again. The basement says the freeze and fling are refreshed when Sisyphus yeah. comes in contact Got with the ground fire. Yeah, so Full is just missing a mechanic right now. Yeah. The pacepin tells you. The pace then tells you. Okay. So another uh, another reminder of the quintessential mystery yeah, tournament I'm, skill. I'm wondering, read the pace. Like, looking at it, and it looks like it's it, it takes a while to refresh. Uh, that. Oh, Matt just gets sniped by that. <laughs> just yeah, it didn't popped him right in the time. face. I like this level, and Matt's just trying to, to fly. I don't know why Fola keeps jumping into that fire. I don't know why either. Okay, it's orange. Well, I can Matt watch is getting again. Comcasted. Yeah, they, they've gone out a couple times, and there they go again. Okay, so I think Fulla has figured it out. Launch it into the fire, stop time, and finally gets the stage clear.
It's big. That's that's the first step. Yep. Who knows? Might just start flying through the rest of the game now. Uh, no idea map. what stage Matt's on because uh, Matt has. Uh, I, like, I think he's a level decent eleven too. <laughs> he's got like gig internet. Well, like, he's I on know level eleven. That Tola is on six. Having gig internet doesn't really mean anything if it's yeah, it's asked. provided through something garbage. Is it Matt trying to go? Why? I feel like Matt's trying to go down. Uh, could be. Uh, Gets nope, over. Also works. Oh yeah, I like that solution actually. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you have to touch a surface. Yep. Okay. Oh, you just have to touch a surface of the ball, not the flames. Okay. No, I think you yourself have to touch a surface. Aha. Uh -huh. Any surface. This makes sense now. Which, which is how they were able to just inchworm themselves up on that last level. Just grab the wall and just let the ball take the, do the work. I see. And Phil is having problems forever with that. Yeah. You know, I don't think this is uh, really accurate to the Sisyphus mythos here. There's no, there's no hills, <laughs> no big hills. I'll just drop right under the exit. Uh, Fula <laughs> is in fact on level ten. Yeah, it's kind of blowing through this part, but so was Matt, so... Yeah, so it, we... We'll see if Fuller catches up and uh, how they take level 12. Well, I don't know if we'll actually see it. Yeah, but, I mean, but... yeah. <laughs> we'll see Fuller's attempt. This full is going to be done with level 11 pretty much Thanks. immediately. Yep, he's yeah, on level 12 now. Where's Matt? Everybody. I don't know. Matt is still on level 12, it looks like. As, at least the, from their last screen capture. <laughs> yeah, right, right at the same place, actually. Yep. Yep, Phil and there's has now full... made more progress than Matt. <laughs> Just has to get over oh, and no. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. Oh, that was slick. Oh, this this looks uh oh. Horrifying. Oh god, just like okay, just okay, let go of the end of the swing and you'll be fine. Alright. Fulla is back in the lead after six minutes of level three. <laughs> oh, Matt was trying to like balance and roll on the ball over there. <laughs> That was an interesting 14. idea. Fourteen. Bulla is just blasting through. Okay, it accidentally bonks that Matt trying to still get through level twelve. You always love a good comeback story. <laughs> Matt on there, uh, on the other hand. Well, when their stream comes Oh, that's back water. Up. I wasn't sure because I thought Fulla touched that the first time, but nope, that's water. That is death. Sisyphus can't get wet, uh, I guess. He I he freezes to... when he touches fire. He freezes when he gets wet. He freezes oh, when he, he touches he ghosts. Sploosh. It just does a splooshing sound. The fire and makes again, we, we've been sound. we've been over this. It's the same kind of ice fire they have in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, fair enough. Phantom Ooh, Matt has passed uh, level 12, is on level 13 yeah. now. Watching this instead of, because I showed up for the Kingdom Hearts GDQ thing late. <laughs> that actually looked a very interesting rando, because the seed, like the previous rando, <laughs> was terrible. This is kind of like a rando, if you think about it. In that this they've tournament is it. just a big rando. He yeah. So you're saying I should be I submitting still can't believe they back. drew a near. Oh my god, that, that, that launch was from Fula. Fula. That was amazing. That was, that was great. That was incredible. Okay, Fula In is trying to plan. desperately touch. Oh, he slides off. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right into the drink. Yeah. Fula has. For, now that from their understands the mechanic, yeah. he's uh he's been going much faster. Oh, oh 
slings himself right into a skull. You gotta stop time sometimes. And declare that your stand is the same kind of stand. Right, but it it's what only stopping time for the... We're apparently resizing the screen. Not sure. Sisyphus' stand is a boulder. Don't at me. <laughs> Hmm? Whoa! <laughs> full, 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 oh my god! Wow! Oh, I would have been so happy if you made it through, but that was that was that was some effort. As Mac continues to be Comcasted, I'm furiously hitting the reload button as much as I can. No, it's just bad. And hopes that we see a a different frame. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. As Sisyphus clears 16 on to 17, we've got eight <laughs> levels left. Wait, that okay, just 15. Jumped right into the pit. That was, that so was they so have, funny. Matt has made progress. Okay, Sisyphus, use your. Oh, that's unfortunate. This game does not come with a full screen option. That I seems like it would be kind of anyway. a problem. Not if it captured its mouse properly. No also, game you, you don't, you don't really need to, like, go to the edge of the screen with your mouse. Yeah, I suppose. No, you, you only have to click it. Basically, just the degrees around the ball. Right, I'm I'm kind of a wild clicker, so I can just see myself clicking outside the bounds of the game a bunch. I try to dodge the enemy shot with that. On to level 18 for Fulla. Oh, oh that could have that could have been a jam and gamer move. All right, Matt does not launch right into the pit this time. Always good to see. Oh, that ball's in a real, real bad spot right there. Yeah. Oh, oh I actually think worse. if Fula kept swinging, he would have finished the level. Yeah. Time. Well, there's also the momentum of the ball with, with this momentum to you. Yeah, we're moving on to 19. <laughs> Honestly, I think Fuller would have cleared this in 10 minutes if he understood the mechanic immediately. I do think that was, uh, that was you know, part of him, like, having this fuller understanding is because of his difficulty, though. Like, he had to try and reason it out, whereas Matt just kind of grabbed onto it and went for it. Yeah. As having a little bit more trouble now that the game is asking a little more of him. That sounds like Into the pit. Granted, Matt is also having, uh, your stream issues, so we don't even know if we're like crazy far behind on him. Oh, we could be. Oh, uh, yes. we aren't, because I, I keep refreshing it. Oh, okay. Alright, now well, we have death also lasers. Encoding issues. <laughs> which I doubt it, because it looks fine. No, no, Matt, this is this is Matt's internet. This, yeah, this so happened. unless it was also encoding issues, that would be yeah. it's not a problem. So unless it's like my stream. Oh, trying to go through the lasers upwards. That's much Manages easier. It. only one. If there was two, probably would have been hard. Yeah, that's the tutorial level. So now we'll now we'll see. Now there's two. You can just kind of wall climb like this. So it's, yeah, it's awkward when there's the slimes. Yeah. Well, those are just those are just floating skulls. The the screen's way too small for me to see that. 
Yeah, I was a little concerned because I think Fuller was just standing in the path of that laser beam. Yeah, so there are disembodied flaming skulls, there's flaming birds, there's flaming slime lasers. Yeah, Sisyphus is dead. This is, you know, a few... his, his eternal hell, I guess. Oh, full of, it's realized a little bit too late, and I'm like, every, every time he's stopping, I'm like, you're in the path of the laser, you need to leave. Oh, just barely. Okay, you should be home free. Oh, uh, well, I guess they were free enough to get to right there. Oh, that slime forcing well, to take that free bad jump. To get to right there. Phantom at. We believe in you. Every everyone stream send Phantom at your energy. Alright. Maybe they can stop getting Comcasted. Yeah. Matt has had streams fail on him before, like very frequently. He just like, I'm gonna stream to... lawyers today and then doesn't It happened during the Smurfs race. At some point, I gotta wonder if Matt has his own router, and that's what's causing it. Cause like I have a router I need to replace. See, just waiting on the ball is a good strategy, probably. Yeah. Honestly, I would just wait this slime out. It's it's a floating skull. There's no slime. It's on fire. <laughs> TPC, why did you do this? <laughs> I couldn't see it. The Discord stream's pretty small. Maximize it. It is. What? Fulla is a little stuck I'm here. I'm on a super, like, on a, a oh, 14.5 laptop or 14.6. Oh, there comes that slime skull. All right, and that's twenty-two on a level twenty-two. I will yeah, say see, Exudo agrees with me. Fire is like hot slime. I no, <laughs> that's just false, incorrect. <laughs> oh, this level is is real stress. There's so many enemies everywhere. Yep. Yeah, but there's a checkpoint, so that's nice. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> Drop into the water immediately. I do love Sisyphus's walking animation. Just the, just the big arm swing. I keep attention to it because he's always in the air. Oh, the, the arms back and forth. It's yeah. Really good. I'm going to have to give all my friends this game. This is this is one that my friends were like, oh, I don't know if I want to join him. Oh, Fulla got the hit. Thought for sure Fulla was dead there. Oh no, that was unfortunate. There are. <laughs> Phantomac getting tagged by a bad uh, firebird. And Fuller clears it onto 23. Matt's onto 17, finally. Uh, he's yeah, been on tricky. 17, I think. Yeah, this level looks tricky to, like, dodge all the enemies on 17. Yeah. Oh, the laser on the top. Do you want to go for it? Oh! Ooh. Very close. Well, also, it's it's right here, so you can just try that again. Onward and upward. There you go. This is the position that you want to be in. Yep. <laughs> the ball. <ball's> yep. <laughs> That's a really good position. Oh, now it's not. Not if you're holding onto the wall. 
Uh, just drop. Just right, drop. Yeah, just drop and then double boost. Swing. Yeah, 24. 24. Um, oh, this is going to hop across. The <laughs> I was wondering what the game was going to do. I, yeah, this this really seemed like a mechanic that they should have done forever ago. Hot All right, Matt is on 18. I was so wondering when they were going to do You just got to run full up. This this might be Matt's chance if it doesn't like Yeah, definitely. Comprehend this. Well, also it just doesn't seem like the running is very responsive. We'll see if the ball has any friction. Oh my god, he's not right quite landing that first jump. I mean, this getting might there. be how you roll it. Oh, yeah, 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 it gets it. All right, we're on the last level. Uh, skipping okay. that entirely. I'm just like, I don't think you needed to do that, but whatever works, I guess. I mean, compared to landing on it, and I'm, I don't blame him for trying to skip it. I'll see you, Matt going up the climb on this level. So this is 18 manas on. I think so. Oh, 19. Yep. Now 19. Yeah. Oh, this section is so tight. Uh, it has you to roll. roll. Well, uh, incidentally, lining them, themselves up perfectly. You should just jump up to the wall right there. Okay. Up. I guess. I, I guess. I guess we'll uh, just go that way. All right. Full of be clearing. And Damn. Full Done. Gets it. That's it. GG. Full of lizards. Full of lizards. 23.35. They, they bought Phantom Mat. Uh, Comcasted. To death. They bought all the testers except Jorf. That's Jorf. Yeah, Jorf <laughs> was, was god gamering for this one, apparently. Jorf god gamers for, like, everything. Well, anyway, I fulfilled. Yeah, without the Matt's... tutorial hiccup, that would have been. I, yeah, without the so tutorial hiccup, fast. I fulfilled Matt's make a wish request, where I uh, <laughs> cast his dying match. And uh, Fola does seem to be uh, continuing on. Yeah, Fola not not doing so hot in the past tournaments. Who knows? Might be different now. Might have to just make a complete tear through losers bracket at this point. I mean, we may, may have just needed some time. I mean, yeah, I, I, I I bet I bet they they're still continuing to play the game. And one of forty is also very good <laughs> at video games. What, oh no, what, yeah. one of forty is very good. One of forty is a, uh, you know, it's one of those situations where like you know they might have been a sleeper pick because uh, you weren't in the event that they were in. But if you were in Seasons, you look at 1 to 40, you're like, oh god, this person's good at video games. Hello, full of lizards. Hello. How that are you doing? That was a fun game, actually. It took me I... a... It took me a long time on, like, level 3 to, to figure out how everything was working, but then once I kind of got past that, I kind of stopped... I don't know, it yeah. just clicked. Uh, I'm pretty sure you spent like seven minutes on level three. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was a bad the, amount of time. The whole it, like double launch mechanic took me a while to get used to. Yeah, but yeah, it does seem like you started blowing through the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does seem like uh, the struggle was ultimately to your benefit. Like <laughs> you, you were doing some stuff that uh, that, that that was really really a joy to watch over here. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, this game was uh, this game was almost considered. Well, it wasn't almost considered. It was considered for top eight, 
but uh, we decided, hey, Top 8's not the only place that gets really cool games, so we let yeah, it in. I mean, I mean, this game was really cool. I, I really enjoyed the last one I did, which was the uh, Sega Arcade Racing Pack. So I've been getting some good games this time. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just still playing. <laughs> yeah, we, we oh, see that. This game actually looks like a lot of fun. Apparently, it gets really hard. It took uh, yeah. almost like three hours for the whole game. A, a momentum-based puzzle game gets hard. Say it ain't so. <laughs> but yeah, yeah glad to hear. Uh, quality submission. Yeah, glad to hear that you've uh, been enjoying your time in mystery tournament. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, is this, uh, well, I guess we do have plenty of platformer puzzle games on this year tournament anyway, but, uh, puzzle platformers are a very good genre because, you know, it's still, you know, you got to figure out a puzzle, but also you got to execute it. Yeah. I was going to ask, gotta, you got to uh... think and be monkey at the same time. It's really hard. Hopefully, we'll see what's going on with Phantom Matt in a bit. It's really hard to commentate a stream when we get, you know, one frame every five minutes. Yeah. I, I just feel bad. But yeah, so I was going to ask if you want to see more of this mystery tournament, but mystery tournament already, already does a fair amount of uh, puzzle platformers, so. Uh, uh but what what would your be that... what would your dream game be for mystery tournament like Me? dream genre i guess man i i mean i i feel pretty comfortable with like most genres like i definitely uh feel strongest in like platforming like just raw platforming but you know like i i feel like i do okay at puzzle i did okay at racing you know i I think the only thing I don't like getting is like FPS, first person stuff. <laughs> I feel like I struggle a lot more with that. Yeah. Right. We we tend to get not a lot of that in MT. Yeah. So, which, you know, there there's also, your genre, uh Snow yeah. Lizard <laughs> and Muware. Go find some of that stuff. Um No, I was just saying Exuna saying in the chat full of subs or was high quality. I just remember the last time I remember you being in top eight. I was helping organize the pool and we had to come up with a way that we could have people play games because you had like submitted half of the top eight pool that year. I was like, I think that was MTX 10. Uh, uh, no, that, that was, that was MT. Uh, it was whatever one that you got second 11. against Zach. So oh, MT 11. 11. Yeah. 11. I was, <laughs> I was second. Yeah. And we, we were just like, well, if bullet does this, we're screwed. <laughs> So we like reorganized the whole game list. <laughs> it sure was something. Yeah, um, historically strong competitor. Recent history has not been as kind, but uh, I it doesn't look like that so far in yeah, this tournament. I mean, I I kind of just haven't been playing that much lately, but I guess I'm starting to get my groove back. Maybe I don't yeah, know. We'll I mean, see. You had a you had a rough round one match because one of 40 is also a very very good player uh anybody yeah. who eat seasons will know that yeah one of, one of 40 pretty good got fourth you know we've had, we've had a lot of other speed season instruments uh people who are good at speed seasons are also good at this like uh piper pika pals yeah, I'm, yeah, Piper from Pika Pals. Well, Pika Pals is also really good at season two, so Trammels. he got stuck in there. Yeah, <laughs> Shrambles. Shrambles is really good. Yeah, Shrambles forever just ninth place and sad. Fritz. <laughs> the role Arc Bliss asks for, and so we gave it to him. <laughs> is Arc Bliss, uh -huh. I think the last three MTs, Arc Bliss has gotten ninth place. <laughs> I think that this might be his year. Between him and Zenic, one of them's got to get top yeah. eight this time, Alpha, right? you can't eight keep them this time. I can't so. keep Zenic again. I feel so bad because I did it three years in a row. I feel really bad about it. Surprise. Zenic definitely deserves top eight. He's so good. 
And then, and then right as he's with it, either of them are in shooting distance of 8th place. Surprise contestant, Alpha 5. No, oh, I'm, yeah, that I'm is so a... unbelievably burnt out and terrible right now, I'll lose to anybody. <laughs> that is a, a, a good a good bet. Who do you think is going to be our new top 8 this time? Because we've had a new person in top 8 every single time. Um, You think Arcbliss? Because that's a good bet. Arcbliss and Zenic would be decent. I have bets. my two. Yeah, those are like the the two probably best um, bets. My those two those are guessing, like the two classics. You, you bet I'm on, guessing right? some girl, that one guy, one of those. Two. Uh, that one guy is a good bet. Some girl is a good bet. Um, who knows if if Okami and Games pulls it together and losers? <laughs> oh yeah, if Oka it's like Okami can be good, but. Okami's all over the place, but like that's I mean that's just kind of what happens. It's like sometimes you're on, sometimes you're off, sometimes the game is too good and you're not and you're bad at it because it's a good game. Yeah. The one I person can't that, uh, the fact that you pick up on jank mechanics faster than other people. <laughs> the one person that I really want to see, but um I don't know, it'd be a hard battle would be GFM. GFM's also really good. Uh mid boss. <laughs> Run mid boss back. is already out. <laughs> oh damn. All left right. the tournament. <laughs> oh, he just quit? Yeah, he just quit. All right, well then, uh, fuck you, Vony. I don't gotta do any more work for you. <laughs> the boss is done. Calco would be cool. We have uh, a lot of very is, strong players, I, though. Calco is extremely good, and I cannot believe... The only reason I beat him last MT was because uh, I figured out how to fight bosses <laughs> faster than him because I was not better at platforming than he is. <laughs> Yeah, th this is a real hard top eight to try and predict because there's just so many good people. There's a lot of good people that are in losers as well right now. It's, uh, it's going to be uh, a bloodbath in the losers bracket. Yeah, we're, we're starting to get to the point where we just have a lot of good people in this tournament these days. Yeah, both brackets are definitely packed. Like, <laughs> It's going to be a fight either way. So yeah, it does look uh, full of lizards like you will be facing Fast Fruit Man. Best name. One of the best names in the tournament. <laughs> yeah, that, that's... Next match. I love that name. That's like top five names. Uh, is is Spark Explosion already out? Uh, I think I think Spark Explosion yes. is out. Oh, I didn't get to cast any of Fart Explosion's matches. <laughs> I just wanted to cast a guy named Fart Explosion. <laughs> But I've been so unbelievably busy, but I had to, you know, eulogy Matt as requested. Let's see, who does the winner of that match fight? I want to see what the bracket can look like. Uh, 177 is a Adam versus Gickman. Ooh. That's a that's a brutal feed into. Yeah. Both good people. But so are both of those players, so. I mean, yeah, at, like, like we were saying at this point, the, we, there's no safe place to be trees? in the bracket. Where's the bad stream? Yeah, we're, we're, so this is we're this on is spinning the, code. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I just I I stopped looking, so I didn't know if Matt had finished or not. The the forest is where we look at the future matches, and uh, <laughs> give a rundown of the schedule. But yeah, uh, full wizards. Do you have anything to say in particular to your future opponent while you have the floor? Um. I mean, I'm just I'm just showing up and playing games at this point. Like, I I really have no idea like how well I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm not super consistent, but when I play well, I feel like I do really well, and I just have no idea. So <laughs> I don't know what I got. 